Hello. How you doing? Want to come on the bus? This is our bus. This is our home away from home. Um, obviously, you got the driver's seat right here. Got a little Scooby hanging out, keeping us safe. Um, this is where you go when you're trying to talk on the phone and everyone's super loud behind you and, and you're. Uh, it never works, but in your head, you think it's going to work. Um, Red Sox hat. Usually, Sports Center is on. Usually, there's a couple more people. It's just me right now. So I got a, I got a whole place to myself. So we are here on the Tour de Compadres with three of my favorite bands on the planet. We got Need to Need to Breathe, Drew Holcomb, and Colony House. And this is our last day of the tour. Which is bittersweet because it's been an amazing tour. Um, love these dudes, but at the same time, so excited to see my wife and my daughter. So that's that's where we're at, and everyone is is currently frantically like trying to pack all of their gear to head home. So that's that's where things are at. So um, this this is the table. I mean, every now and then we'll have we'll have a card game here, but usually it's laptops, people. You know, in the morning you got your bowl of cereal, you wake up, kind of uh, have a little bit of space to put stuff. But the problem with any space that is horizontal on a bus is that usually it collects things. So like, as you can see, um, this is pretty clean for right now, but very quickly like things get put down and then the, like you have to go through and just clean house. These are like... These are where you keep like your your canned goods, <laughs> um, and then you got your waters in here. So what do we have here? We got here's your uh, cereal bowls, your your uh, utensils. I've I've never actually seen what's in here. Um, this is this is the important drawer. Here's your cutlery, your vitamin C, again, crucial, and apparently more vitamin C and Ziploc baggie. Let's see, what we, what we got here? So this, these are, um, this is your morning cereal run. And this stuff is the good stuff right here. This is the homemade granola, and this, this goes fast. This is a good thing right here, because morning cup of coffee to feel, to feel something solid in your hand. That's a good idea. Um, this guy, this is, um, this is a quick cup of coffee. Let me show you my favorite cup of coffee. So in here, let's see what we got. That's like cereals and stuff, but this, this is my morning routine. So, you know what? I might as well just make a cup of coffee right now. Oh yeah, if you want to see what's in here. More snacks. I mean, snacks. It's kind of the name of the game, I guess, right? Snacks. Snacks on the road. Okay. So this is this is uh this is kind of like for me, coffee is coffee's a good ritual because you wake up in the morning, it smells good. I love the taste, black coffee, espresso, whatever it is. Um, but even the ritual of actually making the coffee in the morning is is important. You know, it makes you feel alive, right? You're like, I already did something today. Today's a good day. So that's gonna take a second. How's this? Let me show you on the rest of the bus, and we'll come back for the coffee. Okay, so last day of tour, our friend Chris lives in town here, and we just gave Chris the green light. Hey. Whatever you need from the fridge is yours. So, um, you got a lot of, the end of tour, you really don't know what's gonna go on in the fridge down here. We got, um, this looks pretty fresh. That looks fresh. This does not look fresh. Something in this is probably yeah, that's probably good. We can we can toss we can toss that. 
It could have been from, could have been from last week. Could have been the week before. No one needs to know. Come back here, you've got 12 bunks. Or, I think on this tour we've got 10 dudes. So two junk bunks. Um, these are the little coffins that we sleep in at night. And um, so this is last bunk. This is my brother's bunk. Tour manager Ike, Jerome, myself. We got Chad's bunk, Drew's bunk, and and um, you can't get claustrophobic because it's pretty tight, pretty tight quarters. I. One of my dear friends, um, one of my best friends growing up, he toured with us for a while, and and an example of getting claustrophobic, he woke up in the middle of the night and thought that he had been buried alive in a coffin, and and so we are driving down the road and we start to hear these screams, help, help, and we're thinking, oh no, what 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 is happening, you know, so. My brother hops down and opens the curtain from where the screams are coming from. And the look of relief and just jubilation and joy of, oh my gosh, I'm on a tour bus, I'm not in a coffin. That's a good feeling. Um, but it does, every now and then, you're, you're lying in your bunk and you go around a turn and you start to hear the rumble strips. And you're probably fine, you know, but in your head, you're. 500 feet up on this, the edge of this cliff and you're just about to fly off into your death. So that, that in the back of my mind, that happens a lot. Um, and sleep is, it's, it's dark in a bunk, so there's, there's beautiful moments of amazing sleep, but there's, there's, you're, all, you, you're always kind of traveling and sometimes I can lull you to sleep, but then there's the, you hit the brakes and like your body has a ton of adrenaline all of a sudden and you think you're gonna die for a second. You're fine, you're fine, most of the time. Um, so yeah, so we're packing for the end of tour. This is my bunk. Um, I've got a ton of de demos and books up here. People give me books and letters and, and um, this was a really kind letter that somebody gave me. And um, I, it's always interesting to hear what people have to say about your art, you know, and because a lot of times you don't really think about it. You just write a song, put it out there. So to have someone say um, that he found a common theme in my writing of death and living in light of death, and I thought, wow, that's a really good compliment. So this was from Homer. So thank you, Homer. Very kind, thoughtful words. So yeah, I try and read all the all of the letters, and we try and listen to the demos that we get. And uh, these are our friends and in, in Bombers, great Brooklyn band. Uh, and yeah, so this is this is like your your sanctuary. This is it. That's your like little hole, your home crawl in there and shut the curtain and you can't be bothered, you know? Because with, with 12 guys on a bus, it gets really tight really fast and you're kind of looking for your own little uh, place, your own, <laughs> your happy place, right? Um, yeah, and shoes kind of get littered down here. The floor's kind of filthy right now. And um, these are the junk pumps. So. This is where you throw your bags at the end of the night, shoes. Got a soccer ball up there. Um, usually you start the tour really well intending, thinking we're going to play soccer and football and baseball every day and that rarely happens. So um, we have one. We have a football and a baseball and soccer ball, basketball and that doesn't happen very often. I'd like to say it did, but it doesn't. Uh, let's see, what else we got? So there's, uh, yeah, six more bunks here. And there's
there's always like because of the the feet and how hard everyone's working especially during summertime tours you're always trying to air the bus out for obvious reasons you don't have to get into that this is the back lounge this is like the uh, just hang central right you got your TV you got it's kind of a nice quiet situation um, there's a few of these little guys you can put stuff in and usually I've, I've got all my clothes in here that I'm traveling around with um, but I'm cleaned out I'm ready to, ready for home um, walkie talkies these guys are our team works harder than, than any crew on the planet. They're amazing. And uh, they're a family on the road. And, and so like we sleep literally inches from them every night. And we, I would trust them with it. my life. I'd take a bullet for those guys. We've got Ryan, Ike, Tank, and um, that's, and, and our lighting guy, John Hansen, who we call Dr. Rod Burns. And uh, long story, <laughs> but um, we've we've known so many great people over the years that have shared the road with us together, and we build this bond with uh, with you know these men. So it's like your brothers in arms. You know, you've been through hell and high water, been through some really great times together, and um, you know, like for example, our our front of house Ryan been with us for more than 10 years so that's he's, he's my brother man you might not see him on stage but he's as important as anyone else you know um, that's that's what's interesting is like behind the scenes it's just a bunch of bunch of dudes like trying to figure out life together in a really small space you know well most of the time then you hit hit the stage and if it, it looks like big rock show you got pyro, you got smoke, you got whatever you got, but everyone gets back on the bus at the end of the night. So that's, that's, this is our home, this is, this is where we all live. Um, back behind here we got some, uh, some clothes, extra bedding in case we got friends coming out with us. So we've got, we've got some shirts here. I don't really have anything hung up. <laughs> So this is an aero press. It's like a French press without any of the uh, cleanup. So for camping or for a tour bus, this is an amazing way to make a really good cup of coffee. With all you need is hot water and coffee. So. If I were a true barista, I'd be timing all of this and just showing you my amateur skills here. But so basically, you just press it down, press it through. Again, you gotta use a little force so it wakes you up in the morning, you know. be doing like a aero press like salesman pitch here so here's the best part about the aero press um, French press you're like cleaning it for a while aero press you're done pretty good right I mean just tell them I tell them I sent you again you don't want to clean anything with bus water Good, not good, not good for you. Um, oh, and the most important room on the tour bus is this one. It's a bathroom. And I would say probably the most important rule of the tour bus, number one only. So. I don't want to get into the details, but number two is a horrible idea 
and uh, yeah, so if you're ever on anyone's tour bus, just be cool. For a million reasons, <laughs> don't go number two. So this tour is wrapping up and uh, head home for a little bit and then I'm sure we'll head out on another one soon. Check switchfoot.com for more details or my, my site johnforman.com for more details. I want to enjoy this cup of coffee. Thanks for hanging out on my tour bus. See y'all.